Hey everyone, welcome to the Museums blog. My name is Steve Harris, and I just want to show you a little responsive design hack today. Uh, this is a technique that we picked up from a designer named Christopher Watson. Christopher and I had uh, a chance to catch up at Max last year, and he's a really, really great Muse designer, but he released a site a while ago called Boots Printing Co. And it really changed the game in a, in a couple of ways. First of all, this video background is a really cool feature, and we, we actually implemented a widget based on this. However, Chris did another cool thing in this site, and that's uh, he was able to kind of mimic responsive behavior. At first, I didn't really believe that this was done in Muse, but he showed me how he did it, and it's really cool. So I'll show you how it's done today. And if you take a look at the Boots Printing Co. site, and we scale this page down, you can see that these three elements on the home page, when you start getting into more of a response or a mobile size, they actually switch to a stacked view, which is you know, clearly indicative of responsive behavior. And this is actually all done in Muse. So let's go to a new Muse page, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new frame, and I'm going to use the text tool to do this. So let's drag a frame, and let's drag it from the far left to the far right. And you'll feel it kind of snap there. You'll see the red lines also appear. So that means that the frame is touching both of the edges of the site. The reason we want to do this is because we need an elastic frame. So if we were to fill this area with text, and let me just go into lorem ipsum real quick and snag some text, and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, let's just grab a paragraph, and we'll paste it in there. And if we preview this in our browser, you can see that the text is wrapping so that it fits in the page. So this is the technique or the kind of functionality that we need to mimic. So what we're going to do now is let's just delete out that text and we're going to place some images inside this frame. But there's a, there's a very special way that we need to do this. So the first thing I'll do is just place a couple of images onto the canvas. I'm going to select these three circular images that we use on Muse themes there. Now the next thing that we need to do is we need to cut and paste these images into the text frame almost as if they were text. So let's just cut this so we can go edit cut. We'll click into the text frame so that we have a text cursor and we'll right click and paste there. So now this graphic is actually kind of embedded within a text frame. And if we re repeat this process with the other two graphics, let's just click in and we'll paste this one beside the next and do the same for the third. There. Now we have all three lined up within this frame. And if we preview this frame in the browser and we shrink it down, watch what happens. The elements wrap below. So this frame is almost acting like the elements inside our text and it's simply just wrapping them. Now you might be asking, well, that's great, but how do we move the elements over so they're not touching the edge of the canvas? And you can do this actually by using the text controls in Muse. So if we double click into this frame and we move our cursor back to the far left side, let's bring up our text panel on the right and let's just go ahead and add some indent. So this is actually the left margin here. Let's change that to about 100. There, now you can see everything actually shifted over. And we could even go so far as to use, um, let's just say simple space bars to, uh, or space characters to actually add some space in between these elements. Now, of course, you wanna be considerate of things like the amount of extra code you're putting into the site, and you don't wanna go too crazy with this because it, it can be really hard to control where elements are going. But this is, in a general sense, how you can actually mimic responsive behavior using graphics embedded in text frame. And I'll just preview that in the browser again. And it looks a little bit better now that it's not touching the far left frame or left edge of the site. And again, if we scale it down, we can see that elements start to wrap. And it looks quite a lot like a responsive site. So give it a shot. It's a really cool feature. Again, it's unsupported, so you're probably not going to get a lot of help if you use this technique um, and post on the official Adobe support forums. But hey, you know, try something new and see what you can discover. Let us know if you have any feedback. And thanks again to Christopher Watson for showing us this technique. It is awesome. Cheers.